every job we take, we make some new friends. We get the ball, we score the goals, and then it's on again. Maybe tomorrow we'll get a brand new start. Until tomorrow, the aim is he would part. Folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my Football Manager 2020 game save with FC Twente. That's right, we're back. We are sitting in fifth spot on the table. Huge 20 points adrift of AZ Altmar. Uh, but I don't think, I don't think we, we can even think about that this season. We're, we, you know, we're in the hunt. We're in, again, we have a three games, uh, a three game advantage or a three game deficit to make up for the likes of Ajax, which is nine points. If we win them all, uh, we, which which could put us potentially up as high as third, I think, if my math is correct. So let's take a let's take a look back at what you'd missed. So in the last episode, uh, you saw me take on. So in the last episode, you saw FC Twenty take on Den Haag to a one-one draw, and also the two-nil win against Lokomotiv Moscow. Since then, we've had a pretty astounding victory against PSV Eindhoven at uh, the. Uh, Phillips Stadion, which is an away away days for us. Two new winners. Roger Riera scoring on the 24th minute with his head, as per usual, from the corner to give us a 1-0 lead. And deep it, well, midway through the second half, uh, Van Duven. That's right. He scored, uh, I don't know, what, what, whatever no, number goal he's got this season, uh, to give us the, the, de the advantage. And, of course, the massive three points at the end. We did also take on FC Groningen. Big win for that. 1-0 uh, winners at the Vesta. The one only goal coming from the Scandinavian connection. Grandulous with the assist here. Gets himself in the box. Crosses. Bit of a parry from the keeper. The jokester's there to make 1-0. And, of course, the three points coming home. We'll stay in home. There, despite whatever, the kitchen sink. We threw absolutely everything at uh, uh, Maccabi Tel Aviv uh, in the old Euro Cup 2. And could only muster a 0-0 draw. Goodness gracious. 39 shots. Uh, we did play a, a bit of a weakened side, though. So, anyway... Uh, and then right here, right now, we've just taken on the Treffers in the Dutch Cup second round. Four near winners. And yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. Uh, Rudy Gaste got himself a brace, but uh, so did Bruja with two long-range efforts. That one coming on the sixth minute. His second coming a few minutes later. On the 11th, Adonis with the cross uh, comes out eventually to Bruja, who smashes home a second. But yes, upstep Rudy Gaste from the bench. To convert the penalty spot. Nice. And how about this little perler? A little bit of a mistake from the keeper coming at you. Uh, he underestimates Rudy. He picks his pocket and he slots it home. He walks it into the back of the net. 4 0 win. So today we're taking on Wilhelm Swy and PEC Zvola. And before we've taken on Wilhelm Swy once already this season, we won 4 2. Uh, Asa PEC Zvola. I don't think we played him yet, which is a little strange. Uh, that means must, we must end it against PC. Okay, yeah, just checking it out. So, up against uh, Wilhelm Swy today. You come into this 12th in the table, 21st, put 24 points on the board. We are in 5th. A win for us today could close the gap to potentially uh, just 3 points uh, between us and 4th placed Ajax. It is one of our game in, games in hand. Also in action, Groningen, who are still doing bits, despite their hiccup against us uh, in 2nd spot. So after back-to-back -back games with the uh, the second string team, we're bringing the big boys back for this one. Schlengler between six, Grandjus at left back, Cassius at right back, Riera and Drezovic, Emmerich, Erling Mark in the middle of the field, Tavis on the left, uh, Dos Santos right. The dude supporting Van Duven. Um, I'm just trying to figure out who is my in-form striker at the moment. Let's have a look at the goals. Uh, so Van Duven has seven in... Uh, in what? 13 games, 13 starts. Dos Santos has got seven from, from out wide, as does England. Got six from out wide. Emmerich's got five from wherever we're playing him. The Jokester's got five as well. Not as many starts. The dude has got four. So really, it is Van Duven who has been the most prolific striker. Uh, let's take a closer look at him. His form. So... Didn't score against Gruning. He did score against PSV. He didn't have a bit of a gap between his last goal against Tel Aviv. He did score a couple against uh, VVV Venlo. And a goal against Bruges. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. So it doesn't go it doesn't go that far back. So five goals in his last few. It's not really that prolific, is it? That's for the jokester. Let's have a quick look at his form. So didn't 
didn't play against the Treffers, didn't play against, uh, played against uh, Tel Aviv, didn't score. Groningen, he got a goal. He did also get a goal against Den Haag, bit of a gap there, and then a couple of goals against Tel Aviv and Lokomotiv Moscow. So again, mainly in the, uh, the Euros. It's just food for thought, uh, because I am going to be bringing in a striker uh, in the January transfer window. Yes, indeed. We'll talk more about that probably closer to the time, maybe tomorrow. So we're going to go with this bad boy, Van Duven will lead the line. Um, yeah, the bench is as is. Gestead, despite the couple of goals, not in action. Up against Wilhelm Swy today. Kulert on the left, he's a problem maker. Um, I remember him from last season, or maybe even earlier this season. And the, F, uh, the FC20 under-19s won their uh, under-19 division, which is great. As for the reserves, they're not doing too good. They may even get relegated. We'll see. Corner, Dos Santos is on it. Fires it in, over the top. Come on, loose. It could be a penalty. It could be a penalty within the first 10 minutes. No, no Gestead to take this one. Dean Largo. Dan Largo. At fault, perhaps. As the ref checks the VAR. And penalty. Who's stepping up to take it? Long-winded lineup. It's Trezovic. He likes, he likes a penalty. He does. Go on, Trezovic. Smash it home. On, son. Yes, coolly, calmly done. Love a centre back taking a penalty. Ibrahim Drezovic gets his second goal of the season. Happy days. Calmly does it. No mucking about. Fooled the keeper. And we're 1 0 up. So, can we maintain this form? PSV 1 1 against Utrecht. It's a bit, it's a bit of a start, slow, a staggy affair here, but uh, we've got the lead, which is all we need. I'd like a second goal though, just to, just to be sure of the points. It's a bit nervy. But yes, I think it's gonna, it's gonna take something special to, uh, to stop AZ Altmar from taking away this league again. And there it is, one nil penalty is the only goal between the two sides. Second half, uh, instant highlight, possibly from the hosts, Jacobs or Jacobs or Jacobs. It's changing passes with the uh, right back. Could get caught out. He does. Dos Santos strikes, gets his eighth goal of the season. He is out and out, top goal scorer for uh, FC20 this season. That's what we're talking about, boys. Goals, goals are plenty, coming from all sides of the field. But not really much coming from up top. So, uh, yeah, that's that's going to change. That's going to change when we bring in my main man. It's cost me a, a pity penny. I think it's the most expensive uh, transfer I've made in this journeyman. Look at Kuna Emmerich with a, with a volley and a half from the old Brazilian. But that could be the missing piece. You know what I mean? we got we got the Dos Santos, the dude, Tavasan in that three-man attacking trio. And if we have a really good striker up top to replace Van Duven, who's doing an okay job stepping up from uh, the second division. Nice layoff. Erling Mark should have done better there, but he is a uh, a battling midfielder. I wouldn't say a goal-scoring midfielder, a battling midfielder. So we'd have that. Erling Mark and Van and, and, and Emmerich are already nailed on in the, in the midfield department. At the back, I'm still a little bit... It's still a work in progress. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not saying it's it's... They're shit at the back, but they're they're steady pair of hands. Anyway, here we go. Potentially a last minute dot com third goal, and it's broken up. And here comes Willem Swire goal for them right here, right now. We'll make it a little bit hairy the last few minutes of this game if we can break it up though and and seal the deal. I don't think it's going to happen. Lang with the shot. Schlengelar has been solid, and he's still relatively young, twenty four years of age. He could be. He could force his way into the Dutch Dutch squad. And I think if we can break into that power four. Some of these guys might get, might start getting call ups, and then also when you look at some of the AZ Outmar values of the players, if we can break the break that um, break into that scene, the international scene, some of these some of these players' values could shoot up. Dos Santos's, the the dudes, 
This is a great chance here for the hosts. Janssen stalls, pulls it back. Is it going to land favourably? It does. Van Duven skills around some, some defenders, tries to lay it off for Davisan, but it's broken up all the way through to Wilhelm Schweiz, keeper, who boots it long. And again, we break it up. Cassius slots it over the top. It's gobbled up by Emmerich. This could be a goal. It smells like a goal. Tavisan slips it slip, though. That's a mistake. And here comes Lang. And this will probably in the back of the net. No, great save. Last five minutes. We're looking comfortable for the win, though, as though PSV struggling out for a 3-3 draw. Potential lastminute.com goal here, though, into stoppage time. Two minutes to go. It's headed clear partially. Gracias. What's his name? Grandulus. As a snapshot. It's a bit of an interchange with the keeper who eventually lobs it forward. And here come Wilhelm Swy. Gwillet. Gillet. Gullet. That's the guy. Jacobs now calm and composed. They build something on the back. Jick Steele, former Charlton Middlesbrough man on the right. Slips past another. It's broken up though. We get it again. Hold up play. Lose it. Here comes Kunst. I did say that correctly. It slipped in. Great save. And eventually some edge of the... On your seat. Edge of your seat defending. And we get away with it. Goodness gracious me. Still, we rumble through this highlight. Is there a goal in it? I don't think so now. Into the final minutes, lobbed forward, broken up again. Here come uh, 20 now, Dos Santos. 45 seconds to go. Anything left in the tank? Loses possession. I think this is just going to peter out. Or is it? Or is it? Great. Look at that tackling. Alarm bells are ringing. The FC20 fans want the result. So does the manager. That's me. And that should be it. Final 10 seconds, a 2 0 win. A decent performance away from home. And again, pushes us closer to that fourth spot. And as you can see, whoa, PSV nicking it right at the death there. To a seven-goal thriller to keep their uh, top four hopes alive as we edge closer to the halfway mark of the season. So, FC 26 games without conceding from the 20th of November is a new team record. Let's take a closer look at that, what they mean by that. Um, so, maybe I do have a good defence. So, yeah, stretching all the way back to the Lokomotiv of Moscow game away. Uh, yeah, we kept six clean sheets on the bounce. That's interchanging goalkeepers, interchanging teams as well, keeping players fresh on their toes. I've decided I can't wait. I'm going to show you the, the what I've made, the transfers that I've made uh, coming into the uh, January transfer window. I'm like a kid at Christmas. I uh, made two signings. Well, in fact, this one is for the end of the season. David Turnbull. Um, he's currently in the books at Celtic. Not getting any game time. He's still 25 years of age. Uh, now, everything I've seen of this kid um, on FIFA in the real deal, he is a sought after midfielder and Celtic are interested in him in the real world. He's not really getting any game time. And again, he's kind of fallen down on his luck a little bit. He hasn't got the pace, um, but he could be a, a nice commanding uh, midfielder, could play anywhere he likes. So that's going to happen at the end of the season for next season. Uh, a nice British influence there. And there he is, Thiago Cooker. He's actually valued at 2.8 million, but I think it's restricted because he's got a minimum release clause. He's scored 10 goals this season in all competitions. And I do remember him scoring a couple against us last season. He got 13 last season, formerly of uh, AZ Alkmaar. They're going to regret letting him go. Um, so he's been on the rise, sl slowly but surely. And I think he's he's definitely a tip for the top. Look at the stats, man. Look at the pace. 15 pace, uh, 15 finishing, good dribbling. First touch. He's got some flair as well. This kid is only 22 years of age. He will be decent. Um, and even on the social media side on here, you can take a little look at the social media. Well, way back when, they were... They were livid, absolutely livid, the uh, the top OS fans for, for the minimum release scores because they could have at least got 10 million for him. So he's going to be on his way in January and you may see him as early as tomorrow. So as we get closer to our next match, it'll be FC Zwolle. Uh, a bit of an early uh, sneak peek uh, to our uh, uh, youth crop coming through the ranks, probably around about March or so. Uh, the, 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 the assessment says there are a healthy number of new fullbacks in the pipeline, so that's good to know because our back four is of, the, the, of, 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 of an area of weakness. Our defensive midfielders have the potential to go far. We have what it looks like a top prospect in centre midfield. We also have one good young German central midfielder from Cottbus who has caught the eye. There's a whole load of negatives there, but uh, yeah, we'll see in a couple of months' time. See what's uh, going to pop out the old the youth the youth academy. So next up for us, it is up against PEC Svola. That's right. Who come into this a little bit of trouble in the old relegation zone, 16th spot the table. A win for them could see him rise as high as 14th. We come into this in fifth. Realistically, we're just trying to strang uh, put a bit of a stranglehold on that fifth spot at the moment. We're four points clear of uh, Vietnamese Armen uh, with uh, two games in hand on them. 
We've also got those three games in hand on Ajax for whatever. I don't know how we've got managed to. Maybe it's because of our Euro adventure that's, um, that's kept us behind the chasing pack. Okay, folks, so we're going to go with this uh, style. Line. That's pretty much the best team available. I'm going to make actually one change. Uh, I'm going to bring on uh, one of the substitutes. In fact, maybe I'll bring in a couple substitutes, give them a, a game. Who will be best suited up top? See, that's got a couple of goals. We'll, we'll throw them in the lines then. And maybe we'll stick Reginaldo at the back alongside Drezovic. Um, just to mix it up a little bit. And the Van Duve can be on the bench for where's Cassius? Cassius. So, yeah, Grand just at left back. Reginaldo, Drezovic, and Cassius, uh, the other Cassius. Uh, Emmerich and Erling Mark, Tavasan, the dude, and Dos Santos. Seydali is the line. As uh, the new striker is waiting to come in. But we'll have to wait uh, until tomorrow to see him in action. Up against uh, Zwolle, go pretty much the identical formation. Maybe a slightly different uh, situation in midfield. So actually, four games unbeaten against Zvola. Um, so that's not too shabby. Let's see if we can uh, break the deadlock. Eight minutes. It's Dos Santos' corner. It's a loose ball. It is gobbled up in the end, though, by Grangelis, who's on the yellow card already. Gets across over to Erling Mark. Has a strike. Good goal. That's his first of the season. It's the Scandinavian. In fact, probably the Swedish connection there with Grangelis with the cross. August Erling Mack with the goal. Look at this. Great build up. Stalls pulls the trigger across. There's Erling Mack. Nice control. Gets a couple of touches. Long range effort. That's the goal of the season contender there. And we have broken the deadlock. Like I said, first goal of the campaign for Erling Mark. One of my, I think he's the most valuable player on the books. Um, he's a universal kind of player. Uh, Emmerich to Garangelis on this left hand side. Fires it down to Tavasan. Spreads the play to early Mark. The dude now. What's he going to con concoct, concoct with his magical feet? Dos Santos uh, thinks about it. Gets the cross in. There's the dude. And unfortunately, he puts that one wide. It's like it was stuck in my ass. What is that? Um, 25 minutes gone. Throw in. Bars for Zvola. They build from this right-hand side. Timber Fernandez exchange passes, but it's loose. Here comes Emmerich, the dude. Uh, he might have been offside, but the Daniel Sadar gets his third goal of the season. And maybe there is still hope for Daniel Sadar to make a make a name for himself here at the... I'll say the Grosch Vista, but we're not there. At 20. But yes, nice little uh, early mark again, getting stuck in. He's, he's feeling it today, his early mark. 2-0. Looking good in fifth spot again. Not really, can't really gain much to be honest with you. However, um, we do have a superior goal difference to that of Ajax, who are having a, an off season so far. Here comes Vola now on the left. Fernandez, Van der Heerik, Carvalho to uh, Fernandez, interchanging passes. I'm not convinced where this is going at the moment. It's picked up though. Maybe a potential chance to restore some pride before half time. Bars. Oh, he's got his pocket picked by Grandulus. And it's tucked in. Timo Rogurin um, has uh, game, made this a bit of a game. 2-1. Zvola now right back into it. Scrappy defending. Who's at fault here? I think it's my centre-backs. Grandulus tries his best. Look at this. Why aren't you on him? 2-1. Uh, Kos Kosolev fires it long. It's picked up by Reginaldo. Who probably was at fault for that goal. I'm, I'm, I'm blaming him. Schlengelar to Drezovic. Down the middle we go with Emmerich. To the dude. Over the top. Lovely done. Sadar strike. I think that was an easier option than his first goal. Anyway, corner. Dos Santos will take this one. Five minutes before half time. Fires it in. Over the top of everybody. And it will be another corner. This time on the other side. Uh, and it must have been shit because we don't get to see nothing of it. So it's 2-1 at the break. Um, so far, so good for Twenty. So second half, um, I'd like a third goal. I don't want to be, I don't want to be greedy, but I don't like this two-one business. I'm looking at my bench now. Perhaps, perhaps changing up a little bit. I think Sadar's had a had his moment in the sun. I don't think he's going to do much else. So let's bring on the jokester. Let's bring on Mike on actually. Give him a give him a run out. Anyone else hanging? Dos Santos is hanging. England, time to shine. 
can anybody play left back? I think I took my only left back off. Look at, look, look at Lewis Holby. You can play absolutely anywhere you want. Twenty minutes to go. Grandulous to Emmerich. Switches play to Erling Mark. You've got a different option on the right now with Engeland if you use him. There he is. Go on, show me what you're worth. Bitching and moaning. Slips it in. It's a loose ball. That's what you're worth. If they, can, if they flip in, get an equaliser because of your error, I'll be livid. Back to Kosolev. Fired long. Ooh, it's kept in play. Come on, why didn't you take it? This, this, oh, I don't like the look of this. This has come from England's mistake. Karate kicked, dealt with. Come on, son, now show me what you're worth. Show me what you're worth. There you go. Now, Erling Mark, who's had a nice day today. We don't want to muck it around for him. He deserves a bit of something. Switch it in for England. Just come inside. Okay. He might he might be worth a start. Uh, seventh goal of the season. He has been rich and moaning. And I, and I did give him a bit of our time just there. I eat my words a little bit. Editor, take that one. Take that bit out. Take that bit out. But what a nice goal. That gives us the two-goal advantage. And I think it's pretty much... Plain sailing now. We'll take, a, we'll take a momentary pause and we'll bring on Holtby for the dude um, just, to, just to wrap it up a little bit. Just give him a little run out. Pull some strings. Whew. Yeah, looking good. Heading into 2027 or something. I don't know what the end of 2027. Uh, but chance here to maybe put Cherry on top. Erling Mark, who's had a great day today. Uh, loses possession to Toure, and there comes Zvola to make it a little bit hairy. Emmerich to uh, Reginaldo to Tavasan. Lovely. Holtby. Tavasan dinks it past him. We'll have a go for goal. It's a great save. It will be a corner. We have four minutes to pepper them a little bit more. Um, who's on this? Holtby will take it. Fire it in. Goes over everybody. In fact, there might be a bit of, bit of an offside call in there or something. So, yeah. Oh, still, still time for another highlight. Grandulous. Started with Grandulous. Tavasan thinks about it. Emmerich. Holtby. Tavasan bumbles it in. It's only his third goal. Goodness me. I thought he would uh, be a little bit closer to the money. But 4 1 on the night. It's, it's a bit more. It's a bit greedy, isn't it? We, you know, I didn't expect uh, that sort of result. But uh, I'll take it. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. But anyway, fantastic end to the, to the calendar year. 4 1 win on the road. So, yeah, the uh, calendar year 2024 is coming to a close. We'll be back tomorrow for 2025. And we are sitting pretty in fifth. A good six points clear of. Uh, seven points clear of uh, Viertes Armen, who are in sixth. We have a game in hand on them as well. So, tomorrow we'll be back. And you won't miss a beat, folks. We'll be back straight for the AZ Alkmaar game. And the Dutch PS, look at that double header. You can't, you can't knock that. And of course, uh, the uh, the debut for my main man striker. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you can join us for that. Uh, back tomorrow, same time, same place, right here at Blood Brothers. Be sure to give the video some love and smash the thumbs up, smash subscribe, and I'll see you next time for some more Dutch action. Oh yeah. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, Championship related. Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.